Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. <clears throat> um, the roof, or roof, the ceiling is now all the way on. The back wall is up. The roof is up here. Um, all we have to do, um, this here is already down. This piece here is just sitting in here. This is not going to get screwed in because we're going to probably end up doing um, the stairs. The pull down stairs so we're leaving this just sitting here for the moment but this piece over here is screwed down and uh, those pieces are going to get screwed in tomorrow to get so we're going to have the support um, for on top of here but uh, so let me come down and I'm going to put this later away Now, I don't know how, uh, you probably can't see it so well in here, but the bathroom ceiling is also on. Um, and, bathroom door. And, bedroom door for my room. So, um, show you guys this way up here so the whole ceiling is now in the loft is pretty much done we just got to screw down the plywood like I said um, we're probably going to go ahead and do the uh, pull down uh, ladder so I have access up there what we're gonna do next uh, what's gonna be happening probably tomorrow the rest of that's gonna get screwed down um, the ceiling in my room has to be finished okay uh, also there's gonna be a wall that comes here veers out and then cuts off because the ceiling fan is gonna go there so we got to have enough rotation for the ceiling fan to go so that wall may come out to here which will give us some other storage on this side of the wall for out here when we do that part but that's going to give me a huge area up there just to use for storage and, and stuff like that and which will be really really good so that's going to be um, a really positive thing so uh, continued progress is going to definitely be made you know we're, we're coming along here but uh, it's actually looking it's looking really really good now and uh, we keep plugging along and we actually actually also went grocery shopping today. <laughs> Always got to get groceries. My daughter's like, we need snacks. We need snacks. So we went to Aldi's. Um, I don't know if you guys have that in whatever part of the country you are, or country that you are. But uh, it's like a discount place and it's, uh, you can go in there and get all kinds of stuff. It's off-brand names, but it's still the same thing and you don't spend a ton of money and it works out really really well so uh place is very messy right now we're just gonna you know it's gonna be messy again tomorrow so i'm not gonna really worry about it um we have to still put the ceiling in up through here that ceiling has to go on um and obviously the around the doors that it's got to get filled in yet so there's still a lot to do we're gonna still, you know, we're gonna be working on it. Um, try to think what else to tell you guys. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna get a uh, couple of uh, Tom brought over um, a gutter piece, and we're gonna cut it down, and just for a temporary, put one over the front door, one over the back door, just so the ice and stuff. So actually, I'm gonna take you outside real quick here. The generator's on, so you're going to be very loud. You can see there's a lot of ice coming down off at all the icicles. So we're going to put the gutters just above the doors so it's not getting into here, you know, on the, on the top step. Um, First thing I did this morning, I went out and cleaned off the panels, but uh, 
Yeah, we got snow. We got snow up here. So, but uh, it's cozy inside. Um, this morning, we woke up this morning, and I had uh, I ended up opening up both of these windows, and I had my bedroom window open. It was very very warm. Um, so the stove is awesome. It's uh, it's you know freaking awesome stove. It's kicking out a ton of heat. Um, and if any a couple of people asked where I got it, um, I picked up this stove at Tractor Supply. Uh, so the stove itself was about 700 bucks. So it's a uh, nice little stove. It has a blower on it. I really don't use the blower because I don't need to. But uh, it's a uh, it's a good stove. And uh, but like I said, we're we're making progress and. Uh, you know, we do, we did some we brought some dishes and stuff in yesterday and put them up in the cupboards. And uh Heather had to have the toaster, so we got the toaster in here now. And uh yeah, it's all coming together. Um you know, we went out to today. I'll show you. We ended up going to um to Lowe's and uh I picked up some uh, some piping just to run the two sinks together and what we're going to do like I was explaining to you guys just through to the winter here um, I'm going to throw a five gallon bucket underneath the sink and that's where the uh, the water is going to go so we will be able to wash dishes and and everything else and so we got uh, we we'll put one of the seven gallon totes up here so just run a hose off of there bam into the sink and here we go um so yeah it's you know like i said it's a work in progress we picked up a uh let me pull this out picked up a rod nice heavy metal rod for heather's closet which will screw right into the wall so she can have uh you know start hanging her stuff up in there oh, let me show you what else i got here we had gone down to um Arcport, actually the Lowe's is in Hornell, so we had, uh, I went by where I had bought my bike, and they had sent me a thing in the mail saying that we have a gift for you, and I don't know how well you can see, I don't know how well you can see that. But it's just got it's got an uh, American flag in the background, uh, a picture of my bike, um, you know, and it just says, you know, when I purchased the bike. So I thought it was really, really cool. Um, I don't know how well you guys can see that. But it's a really cool little plaque, and uh, I'm definitely going to be hanging it up. And uh, it says custom made for me. So, and, uh, but it's a, uh, you know, Heritage Soft Hell Classic. So it's, I thought that was really, really cool. And so, let's see if you can, yeah, you really can't see it. It's, but it's really, it's a cool little piece. So I got, I had gotten an email. And so we were down there just kind of looking around the store. And uh, I was like, oh my God, you know. And he was like, yep. So they had sent me a thing in the mail and I forgot that they had sent it, that you had to come in and get it. So I was like, hey, wait a minute. They got a gift for me. So it was pretty cool. Anyway, um, things are going good. Uh, Eddie spent the last two two nights, yeah, two nights with mom. So we'll pick him up in the morning, and uh, actually we're going to be uh, meeting with Josh. And I probably haven't mentioned Josh a lot to you guys. Um, Josh is my stepson. I raised him from uh, five to sixteen, and he will be twenty um, this month. I think it's the nineteenth. He'll be twenty years old. And uh, he is a sophomore in college in Coastal Carolina. And so, um, obviously, we still stay in touch. And he's a good boy. He's a real good boy. But uh, we had him half the time. And uh, so, you know, then uh, when my ex and I went our separate ways, he never spent another night with his mother again. He lived with his father full time. So, uh, what are you going to do? But uh, he's a good boy. And he's uh, Eddie and... Uh, Heather's half-brother, so he will always be my son to me, 
Um, I coached his little league teams, and uh, you know we did a lot of cool stuff together. So we would go up to uh, Toronto and uh, watch the Yankees. Josh and I did, and uh, you know we'd go up for the weekend, and we we used to have a blast. And like I said, he's a good kid, real good kid. So um, we're gonna meet and have breakfast tomorrow, which I'm looking forward to doing that. And then uh, we get back, we'll be working on the house. And uh, but guys, I'll tell you what. It's uh, it's cozy warm in here, you know. Um, that was my immediate goal, was to make sure that we were gonna be warm. I mean, it's about 24 degrees outside. I don't even know what it is in here. I got to get one of those indoor outdoor thermometers. I should buy one of those, uh, so we can see what the temperature is. So I can show you guys. Because when we get into, you know, I mean, it's January now. Today is the second of January, I believe. Just make sure I'm saying that right. Yes, Saturday, January 2nd. Um, you know, once we get into February and in the deep freeze, it gets cold up here. So knowing that we can be warm and that we're comfortable and we're safe, that's uh, that's great. And like I said, as things are continued to be buttoned up in here, and like I said, I just, man, I tell you what, you know, this is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. And it's coming together, you know. And it's really looking like a home now, you know, I mean, with the sink in and, uh, you know, the countertop in here. I mean, there's still a lot of, you know, things to uh, get squared away, but uh, they're coming. Heather has a friend over, and she's in her bedroom with her friend. Her friend is spending the night, so I'm not going to bother the girls. I'll let them do their thing. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, this is awesome, guys. I'll tell you, I... Uh, I never anticipated getting a building to turn into a home, and uh, I thought I would be able to build it myself with, uh, you know, obviously end up getting the cancer through a monkey wrench into everything, but I think it threw a monkey wrench in for a reason that, uh, you know, it was meant to be that uh, we ended up buying this, uh, you know, the, the lofted barn and turning it into our home. And I'll, I'll tell you what, it's like I'm... Uh, really really happy that we did it this way it's three years of payments and you know it's yeah it's going into debt again but it's not you know three years is not like 30 years so um and you know we put some hello what? attention she loves attention don't you do you yeah mm -hmm. um so yeah, you know we're we're we've turned this into a home, and it's it's been awesome. A lot of work still's got to be done, but uh, that's okay, right? Mm -hmm. Good girl. All right, guys, listen. Um, me and Sox are going to sign off for right now, and uh, we will talk to you later. All right, prepper nurse went off for now.